Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Same guy works on him, and he always tips him. And in Zimbabwe, when you tip somebody, you put it in your hand, and you hand it to them, and then they just take it out. Because it's very, very good to splash money on So that's what he could do it. Well, one day, he said, I, I came in, and I tried to do my tip, and he said, I didn't take it. So I thought maybe I understood, so I tried to do it again. So you guys just know about it. He says, every time you tell you, you have to bless us. It's our turn to bless you. And when the guys came out, we told you. And he said, I was so hungry. And he said, the money I was giving him was a lot. It was enough for him to get a good meal. And he turned it down and gave me some money. So then after we get back to here, I'm giving him money for Bibles. He tells us, he said, he sent me a picture of the guy. And he said, I saw him someday. He was on his way to his church on my lunch, which I saw him. And I pulled over to say hi to him. And I, and I said, I have something for him. He pulled the Bible out and gave it to him. And this guy said, he said, just this morning, I'm going to have a And I told him, he said, and I'm thinking, God's looking down and going, yep, worked out, worked out. Yeah, you got one coming in just a little while. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's always cool when you see stuff like that and realize that God's using you to create the world.
In this world, where nothing else is true, we know, life is filled with detours and distractions and false starts, mistakes and failures, but God does not call us to dwell in that world. God's mercies are new every day. God is a God of grace, of forgiveness, and new starts. Join me, if you would, in prayer. <coughs> God, we come before you today trusting your promises, hoping in your future, and bringing a newness to, this, to these two separate units that will today become one. We pray that you would bless them and guide us today as you do always. In your name, amen. Today we are gathered here to celebrate one life, one of life's greatest moments, the beginning of the storyline, with hope for it to never end, that it goes on forever. We are gathered in the sight of God and in the presence of loved ones, friends, and family. We are gathered in front of people who care for you both dearly. 
You have asked your family to come and witness this act. You have asked your friends to come and witness this act. You've asked specifically for a few friends to stand as witnesses today. Josh has asked Sean to come. Sean is one of Josh's best friends. His best friend. The best friend ever in the whole wide world. Some might say a bromance was going on there. I asked Josh, I asked Josh how they became friends, and he said, he told me a big long story, but let's just suffice it to say that uh, Wild Game was killed. <laughs> Another friend of Josh's is John. He's close to him, has been close to him growing up. So close to him that he said, you know what, I'll let you marry my sister, Lanessa. <laughs> like he had a choice. <laughs> Mike is down there. Uh, this is Josh's first cousin. They were close because of blood, but they chose to stay close because they found common ground. And they've been close for years and years and years. Derek is there on the end. Derek taught Josh how to get through tough, tough stuff. It wasn't for Derek. He would know how to get through anything. <laughs> they worked together, and they built a house. Trust me, you work together building something, you will become close to someone. Hey, that sounds like maybe applicable here. On this side, Chelsea has asked her oldest sister, uh, Sarah, to stand with her. She's been very close with Sarah her whole life. Like a second mom, she said. She said she used to drive her around when she was little and let her get into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany is her other sister next in line Tiffany taught Chelsea how to fight <laughs> it wasn't like a lesson thing it was just the two of them decided let's fight <laughs> but they also knew how to make up and they've stayed close together as sisters do throughout life they played as much as they fought. Next in line is Malia, and this is Josh's sister. And she, I said, so how is she standing? And she said, you know, both with Josh, or both with um, Malia and Vanessa, we just clicked. They felt like sisters as soon as I met them. She said, she said Malia is a happy, positive and felt like she was family immediately. On the end is Lanessa, and if you don't know Lanessa, she's like a stand-up comic. <laughs> she is very humorous, uh, self-deprecating, uh, easy to love, and uh, very, very real, Chelsea said. So these are the people that meant something to Josh and Chelsea, and so we we honor them today for honoring us with their presence. Thank you. We also want to honor uh, the parents. And I want to ask you guys just to go down, give your parents a hug, tell them you love them, whatever you need to do. Thank, thank her parents for bringing her into the world, that kind of thing. And then hurry up and get back up here. <laughs> Each person here today attending this 
service adds our best wishes and our blessings to the words which will be uh, uniting Joshua Scott Wisely and Chelsea Deanna Bridges in this holy matrimony. Did I get it right? <laughs> Marriage was created by God, symbolizing the union between Christ and the church. So too, this marriage will be adorned by true and abiding love. I ask now if Chelsea's mom and her dad would please stand. And I ask you both if you would answer me as to this question. Who gives this woman to be married today? We do. Thank you. Josh and Chelsea, God in the beginning took dirt of the earth and formed a man, and he saw that it was not good for that man to be alone, and he made woman. Life is given to each of us as individuals, and yet we must learn to live together. Love is given to us first by our family, and then by our friends. We learn love by being loved. But God loved us before we were even formed, while we were still in the womb. Learning to love and living together is one of the greatest challenges, and it is a shared goal of a married life. It is love which brings you here today, the union of two hearts and two spirits. As your lives continue to interweave as one pattern, remember that it was love that brought you here today, and it was that love that will make it a glorious union, and it is love which will cause the union to endure. Would you please face each other and take your take each other's hands? Josh, do you take Chelsea to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding on to her forevermore? Chelsea. Do you take Josh to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding on to him forevermore? Mike is now going to read a passage that you're probably very familiar with if you've been to any weddings, uh, but it's a very valuable passage, very meaningful passage, so let's listen to those words. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. I'd like to talk now a little bit about the symbolism of the rings. Uh, in this service, there it's a little different. There are going to be three rings that we, we deal with. The engagement ring and two wedding bands. As you all know, the engagement ring is a symbol of the promise of marriage. It's a symbol of the commitment to join in one as a lifelong relationship as husband and wife. I want to do this. I accept the promise is made. Today we are here to fulfill that promise. Wedding bands are rings that are ancient symbols. It's been around forever. They're perfect. They're simple. They have no beginning and no end. The rings are made of precious metals and they're purified by the heat of many fires. You don't really want to watch. <laughs> the wedding ring is visible symbol of the promise that you have made. They remind you that marriage is not a destination, but
but a journey. It has no beginning and no end. <clears throat> Love freely given has no beginning and no end. No giver and no receiver. For each is the giver and each is the receiver. Throughout human tradition, when you make a pledge, it has been deemed good to have a token to remind you of that pledge. For this purpose, Josh and Chelsea, you have chosen ring. Let me remind you of the special symbols you will wear before the world. When you go back to your family and your friends and your co-workers, when people look at you, they will notice the ring on your finger. They will know that you belong to someone special and that someone special belongs to you. Father, bless the rings which this bride and groom have set apart to be visible signs of the inward and spiritual bond which unites their hearts. And now it's the dangerous part. Josh, do you have the wedding ring? Okay. Now you have the wedding ring. Good. All right, repeat after me if you would, Joshua. I, Joshua Scott Wisely, I, Joshua Scott Wisely, take you, Chelsea Deanna Bridges, to be my wife. Take you, Chelsea Deanna Bridges, to be my wife. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. And I promise my love to you forevermore. And I promise my love to you forevermore. You may place the ring on the thing. <coughs> Chelsea, do you have the ring? Repeat after me, please. I, Chelsea, Deanna Bridges, take you. I, Chelsea, Deanna Bridges, take you. Joshua Scott Wisely. Joshua Scott Wisely. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. And I promise my love to you for a moment. He may place the ring on his finger. <laughs> and now, Josh, I ask you, do you have the the aforementioned engagement ring that we <laughs> talked about? Josh will now replace the engagement ring on the same finger that it was placed on originally. But now it is a symbolic sealing of the promise, a fulfillment of the commitment that Josh and Chelsea formally agreed to. Place the ring on your finger. Josh and Chelsea, Brooklyn, and Finney, as the four of you come into this marriage, uniting you as a family, tangling your separate paths into one. And as you this day affirm your faith and your love for one another, I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other. You are special and unique individuals. You need to respect the thoughts, ideas, and suggestions, even of Finney, of everyone in the family. Be able to forgive, do not hold grudges, and live each day as you may share it together, as from this day forward, you shall be each other's home. You will be the comfort and the refuge. Your marriage and family strengthened by your love and respect. Please pray with me. God, we ask as these separate lives come together, as these two separate families become one, and your separate set of friends are now one. We pray that you take these individual lives before you, God, and you create a path for them, a journey set before them with one goal for these two now joined families. We pray, God, for that journey to be blessed by you and to be protected by you. We ask these things in your son's name.
Joshua Scott Wisely and Chelsea Deanna Bridges, in so much as the two of you have agreed to shelter each other from the rain, be the hand to hold as you grow old, to live together in holy matrimony, have promised your love for each other by these vows, the giving of these rings, and the joining of your hands. I now declare you husband and wife. Another prayer. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give you peace. I charge also that you as family and friends are there when they need them. Providing help, providing guidance, providing refuge. As the Lord lifts you up, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Scott Wiseman. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> one, I just one. <laughs> That's it, you're free to go. have asked me uh, to convey this thought. These are not my words. Immediately following in the pole barn, there will be a reception, and Josh wants you to eat until you puke. <laughs> They're going to be taking photographs, uh, so they'll be up there in a few minutes, so if you could just nod, go for a line and greet them now. Let's go up and start eating. They'll be up, and they'll be... Uh, I'll be there to for you to greet them and thank you. That was very nice.